Hi guys, welcome back to another reaction video. This time it's another amorphous song. Uh, this is just um, a track from the album, rather than a video from the album. Um, but it's a track that isn't available anywhere else but Japan. Uh, officially, anyway. I mean, yes, it's available everywhere, but um, it's only available on their record in Japan. It's a Japanese only bonus. Um, so. I want to hear it. Don't know about you, but I want to hear it. And I know that um, it's um, as it's amorphous, it's probably going to be good, and it's going to annoy me that it's not on the album that I've got. So, without further ado, let's watch some more amorphous. Well, listen to some more amorphous with just a picture in the background. <laughs> Right away, it sounds a bit like a bit swaying backwards and forwards, uh, up and hippie Celtic music. And now it's a bit Celtic come sea shanty pirate music. We'll get some. Uh, Glass of grog and down it in a minute. First thing I have to say, well, mainly clean vocals on this. It's a up tempo number, you know, up tempo in amorphous terms. Um, normally, he's much more growly, growly. On this one, it's much more cleany, weeny. Um, there are growls. There's going to be a few more growls, I expect, because um, he's uh, that's that's the USP, isn't it, really, for amorphous? Um, but this is much more clean vocals, which is unusual for one of their more up tempo numbers, at least on this album. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. Well, what do you expect? Float around and around 
solo. Wow, what a different take on uh, guitar solo. Um, brilliant. Wow, this this song is excellent. It's, I would say it's one of my top five from the album, and I haven't got it on my album. I the bonus track thing. I've got to, I've got to question it. Um, I know that it's been a tradition. Quite you know, it goes back decades. This sort of thing, where they put a bonus track on the CD um, for other countries, a different track here, a different track there, especially for Japan, and it's had various licensing laws and licensing agreements, cost implications, things. The things have changed a lot over the last couple of decades. I mean, have they noticed that there's an internet about? For one, do they want to keep carrying? Do the record cables and stuff want to keep selling things? You know, records still. Obviously, they put a bonus track on there. They want to say in Japan, so but they don't want to sell it everywhere else. They want to annoy their customers in other countries. They want to annoy fans in other countries that haven't got this song. I mean, some people, of course, will be like, yeah, don't like it. A lot of people who like Amorphis will like this song. This song is excellent. It should have been on the album for everyone. Now, I have nothing against bonus tracks, limited edition tracks, things like that, but they should be a worldwide thing. It should be on a limited amount of albums, say. Say, first 10,000 or something, or wherever sort of amount of records they feel is a reasonable amount of records. This is what's on there. It's a limited edition. Once they're gone, that's gone, then you have to scrape around for it, so you know, buy up front, buy quickly, because then you'll just get the standard record. Or, have a special bonus album available for uh, more, you know, for more money. I mean, yes, I think uh, the one here you can get the digipack with two additional tracks. I don't know if that's everywhere, unless we've got special bonus tracks ourselves. I doubt it very much in the UK. Um, and that digipack's like a quid, couple of quid more but maybe if they've got several bonus tracks you know four or five pounds more or four or five dollars more if you're in America etc and, and other countries for instance as for those people who can afford it or those people who really 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 must listen to every song but having one specifically for a country alienates you know some of the fan base out there some of the purchasers out there and you end up with people just going like oh, I'm going to download it I'm going to download the whole thing just in case something else turns up uh, it's not. I don't think it's very sensible, but you know, I've said that before about record companies and labels and licenses, the copyright thing that goes on. They are still living in the past, as far as I can see. They, it just annoys people. Rant over. Back to the brilliant music. Sorry about that. <laughs> So, that was Honey Flow from Amorphis, from the Queen of Time album, which I own, but haven't got this song on it. So, it's a bit of a bittersweet moment listening to this, because this is a fantastic song. If Amorphis didn't think it was good enough to go on the album, what other great stuff didn't they put on the album? That, that's a great song. Um... 
But uh, yeah, I can't bonus stuff for other countries. That's not the greatest of ideas in this day and age. Really? Could have thought of something better. But as to the music, it's brilliant, amorphous, heavy rocking track. Just clean vocals as well. Really appreciate that. It doesn't often do, on this album anyway, it doesn't do the clean vocals very often on the up-tempo stuff. It's mostly growls with cleans here and there or as the choruses, etc. This time, the verses, most of the choruses, clean stuff. Um, I can appreciate his growls. I can't appreciate some growls in some other bands and stuff. But it's the music that matters in the end. The music from what of Amorphous, top-notch. Uh, just a pity I could only, I've only been able to listen to this through YouTube and haven't been able to own this um, but anyway I've heard it I want to hear it again but um, that's it from me hope you enjoyed it I promise I won't do any more amorphous for a few days um, although I will be doing a review of the album very soon um, to annoy you with no you don't want it but I'm going to do it anyway um, so I'll see you again have a good day guys